Welcome back. So the reason we're here is because I want, because this opened by the way. So when you kill Bloodstar Beast, this opens up and it is the only other way into the um, like Grand Cathedral place. Like there's only two ways. You can either buy the thing for 10,000 runes, 10,000 blood echoes, or you can take the elevator. So typically, if you don't want to go kill Bloodstar Beast, you're gonna buy the thing by grinding it a little bit. Shouldn't take too long considering, yes, communion. Considering quite a lot of the monsters, like people, do give quite a bit of blood echoes. Like far more than I remember them um, giving. So I want to talk a bit. I did go and do some chalice stuff. By chalice stuff, I am referring to the new chalice we got after we got through layer two of the you know, normal chalice. I went and did that, the root chalice. And it was good, I didn't use the, um, I didn't get any more levels from the runes I got from it, because I don't want to level off screen. Like, I'll get levels from it, then I get off screen. So that means all of the chalices I do, I'm not allowed to level from them. That'll be fun. So I'm only allowed to level from the in-game stuff. Since I'm not, you know, recording, we're well, gonna be recording most of the chalices. Besides from the first one, I can't level from anything. What I can do though is get blood gems, which is exactly what I did for the root chalice. I got the blood gems from it, because you just get the blood gems from just defeating the enemies. They're just like everywhere. So I put those on my weapon. It gave me like, I don't know, 20 extra damage, I think. Where's my... Ah, crap. Forgot about him. Dude, I'm trying to show something off. Do you mind? Uh, so rude. Uh, Alright, so let's go with weapon. Yes, I have those two blood gems on it. Which is different from the ones I had before. In fact, do I have them on here? Do they show up on here? No, they do not. Okay, they don't show up on there. Never mind. Hello. These guys in wheelchairs are the best if you want to farm freaking silver bullets. You're not proving my point here, my dude. I said you were the best for farming blood bullets. Why the hell did you not give any? Uh, never mind, but you you understand because I've killed... I've killed like two of them already. Where the hell's... There you are. Take a step forward. Oh yeah, now where is the... Okay, I need to head back down actually, in order to get to where I need to go. But we'll get to that in just a moment. Firstly, there are other things we need to do in this tower, such as this. We'll be heading back here later in the game, but uh, for now, it's best to just grab what you can and then ignore the rest of it, because you can't <laughs> head into the rest of it exactly. Yep, nothing ever. Here. So, concerning the whole chalice thing, I will be going back for to fight number two, or well, number three, the big old wolf boy, the big old doggy watchdog, at the end of this episode. Now I'm going to get that in there, but I wanted to come here and kill some things first, mostly so I can justify leveling up a bit. That's why I came here, so I can level up a little bit more. Radiant Sword Hunter badge. Oh, I love that weapon. You can't open this. Yeah, don't worry about that door. So, yes, yeah, so I came here to level up, and I think I can get blood gems a little bit. I think are there blood gems around here? For some reason, I remember there being blood gems in this tower, like the, as you go down the tower. But I think I'm just straight up wrong there. I think I'm just wrong. So you might want to just ignore me. I think I'm speaking rabble. God damn it. Where is it? Did it go? I think I already lost it. There is a... <clears throat> Do I want to quit out? Hold on. Hold on. Let me get it, because I think... I'm not sure if I'm right, but I think he has... Oh, Blades of Mercy, my weapons. Or, well, soon-to-be weapons. 
don't worry about all that dialogue. I'll show you the moves soon enough. Yeah, so let me just quickly quit out because I'm not sure what spawns it exactly. In the all the games are different. In Dark Souls One, you have to like quit out in order for the crystal lizards to spawn. And then I think in other games you just need to head back to the um, in Blood uh, Demon Souls, the new one at least. You just need to head back to the um, freaking crag thing, the bonfire. I'm pretty sure. But for Bloodborne, I'm not sure which it is exactly. Hence why I'm taking this route of quitting out. It'll be fine now. It should be the oh, I didn't call this Dan. That almost went very badly. Nothing down there, right? Even after playing the games for this long, it's easy to forget stuff. Granted, if you grind them over and over and over. I forgot about this. I always forget about this. Yeah, I always forget about this. I can't believe it. Where do you go? <laughs> Where the hell? Oh, nice. Formless Odin. Odin. Messenger Urn Festival. Ooh, that damage. Yeah, you can change the um, these things. They appear at the lanterns, and they appear at messenger baths, and in messages. But I changed it so they had the bloody um, bandage. Well, that's pretty much only because they was the only one I had. You can change it at the um, nightmare or dream. I'll go and show you that later on. But for now, we have things to do. So forget about that. Let's move on. Also, <laughs> I feel like I should confess to something. I um, I did grind out a load of um, the bullets and what are they called? Seriously? Where the hell did I miss it? Did you just not get a chance to do it again? He should have been there. I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, I think I just remembered where he is. God damn it! Once more, once more. I know where he is. Welcome back. I decided to just skip out that part of the video. You know, the whole waiting in the freaking loading menu. And I did want to confess to something. So I did not, in fact, grind out 600. Um, what are they called? Blood vials, because that's the maximum. I didn't. I did not grind those out. I was like, screw that. I got to about 60 blood vials and was like, I can't do it. There you are. I knew you was on the other side. Ha! Yes, you do give the twin ones. Awesome. Ah. Yeah, so I did not grind out all of them. Instead, I went with the... Oh, crap. There's a way to do this. I don't think I have the... You have to, like go at like the edge of this to, to get onto that ledge ah oh, crap I, I forget how to do it so I'm instead going to go the safe option yes yeah, so I instead use a kind of cheating um, chalice dungeon it's not really cheating everyone knows about it yeah it gives so many runes like the broken chalice I used um, about 83,000, to be precise. Ah, crap. How the hell do I... Can I jump that distance? If I fall that distance, I'm going to die. If I jump over to there, I could make it over there. Ow. That was stupid of me. I forgot how to jump again. Why in the world did I forget to jump again? Uh, I keep messing up my buttons for this. Because it's not freaking pressing down the L3. It's I have to press the circle again. 
I'll be back for you, old lady. Don't you worry about that. I also need to try to remember the correct way to fall down that um, freaking shaft. Because there's a way to do it. More consistently than having to go all the way around. Because you kind of screw yourself like I did. And you kind of screw yourself out of all the stuff you earn. But it's worth it if you do it. Because you get, you get so many blood echoes. And you also get a cool thing. Which we will show off a cool thing. Why do I keep jumping down like that? See, the thing is, I have very low vigor. Very low health. So I'm concerned that I don't have the right stuff to survive this. Ah, crap, I missed it. I missed it. Okay, almost. Almost there. I think I can survive that, actually. It's just the ledge. I can't really see that well. But I know it's there. Alright, let's go again. If this keeps going wrong, I may start cutting them out. Just to speed things up a little bit. Why did I not send the elevator back down? That was stupid of me. Yeah, but... So, I think I went over everything. I did the root chalice, got some blood gems from that. I did the cheating chalice, got all of my blood vials and silver bullets. I didn't do any leveling up from it, because that kind of ruins the game. What doesn't ruin it, it just trivializes. So I didn't do any levels, of course. I've already explained that. Uh, we'll be over there soon, don't you worry. But for now... Okay. You need to position yourself on this kind of ledge. Ha-ha! <laughs> I was right! Oh, joy. A fine note indeed, my friend. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, good. <laughs> Could have gone very badly. <laughs> but we found what we were looking for. Granted, there are some things we missed, like those. But I consider this a bit more useful, considering I don't even remember what those are. Abandoned old workshop. You'll probably recognize it. Uh, thanking you. The doll gear, it sells for so much, that gear does. Old Hunter's Bone. Third Umbilical Cord. And Abandoned Doll. Yes. Light the lamp. And then grab the small here ornament. I believe there's one of the item around here. I think it's like, is it over here? I think there's one other item. Although I may just straight up be wrong. What is that sound? I can hear something. It's weird, I don't like it. Either way, let's head back. This place is creepy. Old Hunter's Workshop. Well, Old Abandoned Hunter's Workshop. Hello, doll. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Hand what over what? small hair ornament. What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? <sighs> Thank you. Welcome home, good Hunter. What is it you desire? Farewell, me. Yes. <laughs> so yes, you get good things from doing good things. But first, oh yeah, I also have a lot of bloodstone shards. <laughs> I have so many bloodstone shards. 
Now then, I am not going to sell any of this or any of this. I feel like that would be wrong of me. However, what I can sell is this because they give so many blood echoes. And that's fair game. They are definitely fair game. I also didn't sell any of these that were different in some way. Uh, these two both have the same rating. Their attack um, up plus 5.3, so I can sell one of them. But if any of them are the same, I don't intend to sell them. Do I have some extras that I weren't, I'm not aware of? Um... Break you open. Let's see if I can. Yes, I think I can. No, I need three. I wasn't going to upgrade it anyway because I'm going to save that for when I get my big stuff. My Blades of Mercy. On to the next one. I'm basically just looking for blue, like the damage up. And you. Health continues to recover. Yes, I remember that. Blood attack up. I'm going to put that on. Because I have very low health, so it just help me survive quite a bit more. Welcome. Very well, then. <laughs> I've never used that myself, but it's, it's such a cool weapon. Um... Yeah, okay, there we go. Should help They're us well, to survive good. a bit more. But we're not quite done yet. We're not quite done there yet. We're not going to go take on the big old beastie quite yet. Plus, I'm probably going to go for a bit longer in this episode. Um, the start of this episode is really scuffed. I'm going to be cutting out quite a bit of it where I just ramble or like the heavy loading screens. I'm not going to cut out every loading screen because... They don't take too long. They used to be worse, but they've gotten better. So I'm not going to do it for everything, but the start of this episode will be kind of cut up. So I apologise for that, but it's fine. Healing Church Workshop. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. There you are, big guy. I didn't mean to walk just off the edge like that. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Because that... <laughs> that was so stupid. Why did I just wander off the edge? That was so stupid. So dumb. I'm surprised that there's such a peaceful little area just in the middle of all these freaking massive buildings. Thank you. It's not much, but uh, it's close to leveling up. I think. I can't remember how many levels I need for. or how many blood echoes I need for a level at this point. Okay. Just so you know, I did already fight one of these things. Um, it is the boss of the, or the layer 3 boss of the Root Chalice. He gets mean. Okay. I didn't think I'd get him. Okay. I think you give about 4,000 just by itself. No, I was so wrong. Very wrong. That was only 7, 795. That was not even a 1,000. I was so wrong there. God, you're creepy. Who the hell are you? What is up with you? Why are you like this? Who are you? Why are you doing these things? Yeah, but anyway, so if they have a red lam lantern outside the door, it typically means you can talk to them. Whether that, you know, leads to anywhere or not. Well, most of the time, no. They're just dicks. I think 
after I unlock this, after I unlock Grand Cathedral, I'll be able to get taken away to Old Yarnum. Oh, it's not Old Yarnum, it's Yahagul, I think. Is it Yahagul? Can't quite remember. We'll, we'll be taken away somewhere. We'll be kidnapped. Let's get away from that dude. I'll let myself slowly recover. After having um, fought in the chalices quite a lot, these guys are in quite a lot of the chalices, I found out. <laughs> well, they're in quite a lot of the levels. They just seem to be everywhere. I don't like it. They do drop bolt paper, though, which I do like. And I have found certain ways of dealing with them. So, the moment you damage one of them, they will begin to try to buff themselves. They'll get on, they'll take on the red hue, and they will try going like the berserker mode, really. Thank you. Okay, you die, you die. Okay, should be n almost everything. This is the only thing left. Don't stand up, don't stand up, don't stand up, don't stand up. Good. Crap. It stood up. It stood up. If you're hit by any of those things, you will be put to sleep and he will run at you and try to grab you and stick a tentacle in your mouth. Safe to say you should avoid it. You don't want a tentacle in your mouth. It's not good for you. It's not good for the health. Alright, alright. Here we go. Cathedral of War, not Grand Cathedral. We're at the right place now. So this is how we get in. You open up. I will take the wooden shield. Oh yeah, I remember why. Uh, this is where I got to before I realised, oh no, I'm screwed on my other playthrough. And I decided to quit out. Not here, I got up here. Because you can get up here from down here. But I didn't open the actual doorway. Okay, you're over there now. Good. Should I go to... There already. Ah, screw it. Why not? Wait, no, wait. Before I do that, <gasps> want this first. Alright, come on then. Uh, what's that necklace you're wearing? Alright, here we go. You get a unique cutscene once you get kidnapped. Which makes sense. You're being kidnapped. It's not going to be the regular you died cutscene because you didn't die. You just got grabbed and taken somewhere. <laughs> Which is so rude. Now then, as for dealing with this area, my oh my is it going to be a task. Oh yay. <laughs> oh yeah, I got gas coins and stuff, didn't I? Well, the only unique thing is that, but I'm not changing the hunter's hat for pretty much anything, because I love the hunter's hat, as I'm sure others do. Ah, oh, crap, I shouldn't have come here now, though. I just remembered something. Wait, maybe I can still do it. If I leave her down there, maybe, maybe, if I'm lucky, I can still do it. I just need to find the god damn it. I just first need to find what I'm looking for, the um, freaking lamp. Okay, I can upgrade now. But I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. worry about that we'll be back to that later for now 
we have other things to do. Yes, let me um, go grab that gear and then we'll be back here. Don't worry, we'll be back here soon, soon, soon. But I need to grab something before I can go any further into that area. Because I want to help someone. Um, yeah, that works. So someone who's played the game before and knows what's down there probably knows what I'm trying to do. I hope I'm hoping heading to the snake area, the forest, won't disrupt anything. Uh, I'm hoping I, so long as I don't talk to anyone, so long as I don't mess with anything, so long as I just pick up one specific item, I'm hoping it doesn't mess with anything. I just need one specific thing, a set of, well, gear specifically. I need a specific costume in order to interact with someone. And they do that quite a bit. They interact with, like, um, the clothing a lot. Like, later on in Cathedral Ward, um, you meet someone who won't talk to you if you're, like, just spawned in and haven't killed anything. But if your clothing is, like, covered in blood, like beast blood, um, she'll recognize it as like the smell of blood and she'll recognize that you're a hunter and so she'll trust you and she will um, go where you tell her to go which is cool because like you wouldn't just trust a random stranger during um, freaking the beast hunt but if you you can trust a hunter because they kill the beast that want to hurt people so I think it's cool Yeah, no, let's not go down there. We'll, we'll come back to this area once we actually get to the forest. But for now, I just need to pick up some gear. And in fact, even before we pick up the gear, I want to deal with this before he lets the goddamn dogs out. God damn it. God damn, I almost died. Profitable dogs. Really? There we go. Okay. Pop you back open. But now we just need. What I'm looking for is not there. It is here. No. Yeah, be careful because since this is a leg game area, all of the things do so much damage. All of the things. You see how that dude hit me with his torch? He did like half my health. Well not quite half but it was close. The bird did half my health. It's a goddamn bird. Alright, this is what I'm looking for. Long, well white church hat, white church garbs essentially. Why are you alive? Alright, that's everything I need. Reawaken. Then I guess the best thing to do would be likely go grab my blood e I'm just thinking, does he have my blood echoes? I really hope he doesn't have my blood echoes. If he does, I'll just kill him and then I'll head back to that place we were at. Don't worry, this is all preparation for stuff. It's all necessary. Well, not necessary, specifically, but it's something I want to do. Tomb of Odin. Where is... Oh, yeah, it's where we've all Gascoigne. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Now that we've got the gear, we have everything we need. But before we do anything else, I do want to go grab my, all my stuff. Ah, she's not here yet. Okay. Wait, did we go talk to her? Yeah, we did. We go. We went and talked to Wiley. Oh. All my blood hurts. You're not gonna ghost me away again, are you? No. Yeah, so despite uh, what I thought was going to happen there was he was going to go, um, he was going to 
get mad and try to go his berserker mode rather than kicking me. Uh, that was unfortunate. It's fine, we don't need that many levels. I think we're fine where we are actually. Um, Hypo Hypogean Jail. Alright, you don't head down there, come back up here. Now I'm hoping she's still fine down there. I don't know if going away like causes her to die or something. Hope not, because I did all this just to make sure she didn't die. Now then, he should... No, he's not going berserker. He's not going... There he is! And I don't think my normal strategy would actually work for them. Now that I saw how much uh, damage he took. My normal strategy when I was doing the chalice was... Um, I would try to parry them, of course, with the gun. However, if it didn't work and I just ended up shooting them by accident... Then I would just run straight in and start attacking them because more often than not, rather than um, attacking again, they would typically go berserk. Oh, ah, oh, you oh, are still me. alive. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, calm down. I'm trying to help. All right, let's change all of you. That should be everything I need. Oh, by your God, the healing church, you've come to save me. Oh, I have no words to express my relief. I know. You can take this at least. Of course. Madman's knowledge. Surely he's an upstanding member of the church like you. Of course. Oh, thank you so much, dear gods. Thank you so much. I was seized on the street by a hulking brute in the cathedral ward and locked up here. Yes. And many others, but they've been taken away. Yes, don't want that happening and to you now. I've heard moans echoing in the distance ever since. I know, dear. So, the hunt is on tonight. Indeed it is. And the streets are perilous, and every door will be shut tight. Yeah, the dicks. Perhaps it isn't my place to ask, but do you know somewhere that might take me in? Of course I do. Um, Odin Chapel, because oh, screw you, Sefka. Thank you so much. I'll set out as soon as I can. Of course. I pray for success on your hunt, kind hunter. Okay, good. She's saved. That's good. So, there is also a black church um, one, which I believe is easier to get. But I can't quite remember where the damn thing is. Hence why I just went with this. The white church one was something I had accessible to me since I did the skip earlier on. So, just going with that was easier. But now that we've done that... It's time to move on. Now then... There are a couple different options we have now that we're here. We could go that way and deal with the boss of the area, which is fine. I should be able to beat him. I'm going to beat him, I should say, because um, I want to beat him and because it's something I need to show off. It's why I didn't kill the hunter in Old Jarnum, in fact. It's entirely for this reason, or for this purpose. But for now, I think I should avoid it, because I should clear out the rest of this area first. Die, die, die. Bullstone Shard, I was hoping you'd give me the double one. No, no, no. Watch out for the old lady. She will, um... Don't let her grab you. It's not a pleasant sight. She will try to scoop out your eyeballs. Should be big old piggy. There's Piggy. Don't worry about Piggy for now. We'll get back to him soon. So essentially, this whole area kind of changes. The enemies change. I think some of the weapons, not weapons, but items may change. I'm not entirely sure. The main point is, um, do this area now while you can, because you will be coming back later on and it will be different. So do it now. Get, um, get this all out of the way. 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there we go. I heard the pig and uh, thought that the pig was coming down this way. He can do that, so just be cautious. He does track you quite a bit. Okay, I, I misjudged that. Crap, I've damaged him a lot. He may actually try to transform now. He's really close. Alright, now are you going to transform? No. The longer you take, the better for me, dude. I don't mind waiting. Twin Bloodstone Shards. So I can farm you for them if I need to. And I might. I kind of want to upgrade my weapon a bit. Just to help with the doggo. And to help with the other chalices. Whilst I'm getting my uh, freaking blades. Well, you'll find a lot of the freaking double ones anyway. The Twin Bloodstone Shards. It's just nice to find them this early. Because this is pretty early in the game. Like, I haven't even killed a, a Amelia. Yeah, well, we'll be seeing these old crones again later on. But I'm not going to spoil that fun. For now, let's just keep moving on through this area. So, as far as aesthetic goes, I do love this place. Um, freaking Yaha Ghoul, I'm pretty sure it's called. I do love it. So sinister and dark and brooding. It's like its own kind of... It's like its own world, essentially. Ah, crap. I tried to load up a heavy, but... Also, this pig is one of the bosses in one of the chalice, the root chalice. I'm pretty sure it's the second boss. Yes, the second boss. First boss is another triple threat by the big dudes, the big fat dudes. And then it's the one of these guys, a pig. Okay. Oh wow, I build up a lot of blood echoes here. Does not quite replace what I've lost, but it's pretty close. Madman's knowledge. That is very useful, keep it around. Ooh. Yahagul, it is Yahagul. We're gonna change to the Yahagul set. Because I think I hinted at it before, but I didn't fully finish with what I was saying. I do want to change up my fashion quite a bit. Since I typically stick with the same kind of stuff. Granted, you, have, you do have to take the defense and stuff into consideration with things like this. Like what it's good against, what it's weak against. But I think it's fine for fashion, anyway. If I, need, if I come against a hard boss that I need specifically to adjust my gear to. And I'll do that later on. There you are, I knew you was down here. There we go. Twin Bloodstone Shard. Lovely. Let's open this up because it'll help us later on. Yeah, so I want to change up my fashion if I need a hard boss. Well, if I beat meet a hard boss, I'll change it up to kind of match the boss I'm fighting. Plus, it is more useful for like specific gear and statuses. Like, there's gear later on which is specific towards beasthood, which helps keep beasthood longer. You know, um, beasthood, the things you take blood, um, beast blood pellets for, and the bar that goes up. There's things that help you retain the bar longer. It's a gear that's specifically directed towards uh, beasthood. Big old piggy. I like I'm being followed. I don't like it. I think this should not be able to move. Yeah. But don't worry, we're not going to be using any of that. Well, we don't need to worry about the lift for now. Now we need to finish over here and then we're done in Yahagul. And then I think I'm ready to go fight the big guy again. 
you know, the big old watchdog, because I think I'm getting close to the end of an episode, I'm not entirely sure. Oh my. That was unique. Just had to check my recording time. want to make sure that I don't, like, go over and have to stick this in another recording. <laughs> Would prefer not to do that. Yes, but after I've killed this piggy for what he did to me, and I've got over there to that item, and killed all the dogs, I'll of course could kill Watchdog, which should get me another chalice, which I'll... Really? So, which I'll go do on my own, and then I'll see if I can grind that. So deal with that pig first. Good to know. Yeah, I'll see if I can um, grind out the chalices and get all the way down to the chalice I need to for my Lost Blades. So hopefully, next video, I should have my Blades of Mercy. And I think I'll be able to get to them. I just need to do a couple of other chalices, I think. Because I think once you get the chalices, they start leading into one another. It's like a... Um, domino effect. Once you reach the end of one chalice, you get another chalice and you, you just keep going, keep going, keep going, essentially. Ooh, let's not forget that. Mine. Ow. Don't push me into the other one. I'll be right back. I'm going to deal with pigs on my own first. Alright, so the pig is a dead. It was easy, it was really easy once I had to, you know, did it. Probably even took me that long, actually. God damn it, I hate the dogs so much. The dogs are always bad in these games. They teleport in Dark Souls 3. These ones are just so relentless. Look at that, look at that. Dude almost killed me. It's a dog. I hung gods. Not even just normal gods, old gods in, with this dude. And yet this dog almost killed me. I killed something five times your size! Well, well not really, not quite yet. I haven't killed the watchdog yet. But I will be killing the watchdog at the end of this episode! Come on. No, maybe it's just me, I just need to position better. Yeah, yeah, I just need to position better. What am I doing? <laughs> I just hope he doesn't transform now that I've actually hit him. That would screw me over so much. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. That's good. Shows he still wants to attack rather than buff. That was bad. I should not have shot him. Ow! Okay. Crap. No! Okay. Yeah, no, this fight's pretty much over. Aha! Wait! It's not over yet! It's not quite over yet. It was close. No! No, no, no! Shoot him! Okay. Okay, as you can see, once they buff, pretty much next to over. But thankfully, we got lucky. Kind of titrus. I've never tried this weapon myself. It has, um,. Yeah, bulk scaling, so just lightning damage. Oh, I can't even equip it. <laughs> never mind, I wanted to throw it off a little bit, but never mind. For now, though, let's go level up. And then we will go fight Big Doggo. I'm going to level up my skill quite a bit. Just to really stack things in my favour. So that I make sure my damage is really good. I'm also 
No, no, I'll, I'll bring in the dude. I was debating not br uh, whether to bring in the other hunter or not. But considering the fact... Um, wow, I only got two levels from this. Okay, that's not good. That is not a good sign. Yeah, considering the fact that um, I want this to kind of go quickly, I will bring in the other hunter just to speed things along. Plus, I'm really in the mood for, like, summons and stuff after Elden Ring. Because I've been watching Elden Ring Challenge runs again. God, there are so many and they're all so good. It just makes me want to play the game so much. So I re-downloaded it. I know I only platinumed it not long ago, but I couldn't help myself. I had to re-download, which is it, it's actually pretty bad. I have a lot of stuff to do. What if... Come on, Oleg. It's cool gear. I need to find other gear, though. I reckon once I get to the knight's gear, I may actually just stick with the knight's gear. I love the knight's gear so much. In fact, I have the Kano summons, and I can get to... I have um, Cathedral Ward unlocked. So I could very much run in and go to Kano's at the moment. After I kill the boss. What? Well, if I do we even need to kill the witches? Not to get Kanehurst? I am not sure. I might not even, even need to kill the witches. Not to get Kanehurst. Okay, 70. No, 90, I mean. I was hoping a bit more on that, considering I was doing 70. And I've got a new blood gem to do uh, a bit more level and stuff. Okay, no, no, we're doing good. Nice, okay. Seriously, you're just gonna stand in the lava. Okay, doing much more damage now that I'm um, actually hitting a broken bone. So I think I know what happened there. So I think it, I, it was because I jumped, because the freaking running and jumping and rolling are all on the same. In fact, hold, can I change that? <laughs> Like, can I change the button it's on for jumping? Because I, I wanted to roll there, but I jumped. And I think because I jumped, I got counter damage against me. Controls. Auto target switch. Uh, crap. No. Can't change jumping. Okay. Figures. Well, that's fine. The big doggo. Still not going to be much of a problem, I don't think. I don't believe we will be. I just need to focus on killing... Yeah. I just need to focus on breaking the legs. I don't know if I can break the arms or not. Uh, well, the front limbs, not really arms. I may need to look into that. Yeah, but playing uh, freaking Bloodborne makes me want to watch Bloodborne uh, runs. There's a tool-only run, so I didn't mention this at all, but the old Hunter Bone the old bone is the art of quickening speed up rolls and quick steps. There we go. As you can see, it's very useful. <laughs> it's not useful when jumping and rolling on the same button though. That hurts. That, that hurts so much. It's fine. It's fine. In fact, let me um put all the. In fact, let me put you. No, you won't be useful. I'm freaking fighting a boss that is covered in fire. He spews lava everywhere. What am I doing? Fire will be useless here. Right, so old hunter's bone. I'll keep that on my thing. It costs quite a bit of um silver bullets to use but considering I'm not using them because I don't know if I can use it to stagger the damn thing I'll use it for the old hunter's bone yeah quick up rolling and quick steps yeah it's, it's nice it's really nice alright 
Run! <laughs> it is nice, I do like it. The tools aren't something I've ever really given much thought or consideration to in these games, well in this game, but I do enjoy it. I think there is some tool only runs as well. Those are always fun to watch. Ooh. I'm really hoping he's focusing on Olak, because otherwise I would have been screwed there. Oh, my thing ran out. Oh, that was my fault. I didn't roll twice like I should have. Yeah, I figured he was doing that since he wasn't moving. Oh, now he's focused on me. He seems to be mad at me for some reason. It's like I'm hitting him or something. <laughs> Take tiny throwing knife. Oh, like, what are you doing? Oh, like, are you abandoning me? Is, is that what this is? Are you rebelling? Here we go. Oh, I think I did break him. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Especially with the old Hunter's Burn. I'm, I'm very deeply enjoying this. Yeah, so it's all a matter of weapons and gear use the right gear, you get better results, as evidenced here. Do we consider a look gear? Or a piece of equipment? Oh, okay, that was a big explosion. I didn't think you'd get me. Oh no, I think... Oh wow, we were doing so well, and then in the last half, Olek just had to go quit on us. Yeah. Alright. Is it me or is it looking more frail? Come on, you know you want to. I thought for sure you were going to charge at me. Granted, I don't know what I would have done if he had. And I'm going to leave things there. <laughs> I'm going to kill this thing on my own. I'll start next episode with it dying. But <laughs> yeah, I'll see, I'll see you there. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. <laughs> Goodbye.